In March 2016, Cyclone Winston devastated the remote islands of Fiji as a Category 5 storm. It was the strongest cyclone ever recorded in this area. 44 people were killed and thousands were left homeless without food or fresh water. Boom, in one hour, all gone. We lost everything, house, clothes, uh, water, food. When we got here, it was like a bomb site. I'd never seen, I've never witnessed devastation like it. I couldn't comprehend how these people survived. Aid organizations like Sea Mercy responded quickly with very effective relief efforts, providing first aid, food, clothing, shelter, and a safe supply of drinking water. Focusing on water is a big deal. The roofs are all blown away. Water is all done by collection of rainwater. No, no house, no roof, no roof, no collection of water. These people were uh, rationed down to less than a bucket of water a day per family. Well, it's one of the first things they lose. Uh, they lose it either in their catchment, they lose their homes, they can't catch the rain. Two, their water source um, can get contaminated. So they, they just really don't have a, a source. And, and you can pretty much take away all sorts of things. And, but, not their water. We installed some water makers. We did one here in Mackendai and we did one in Taviuni. The, the machines are fairly simple, the technology is simple, um, and it's exactly the same machine that I have on this boat. So when we arrived at the island with this big black box and some batteries and some solar panels and a box full of tools and some wire, and we say, right, okay, we're going to make use of drinking water. Now these people hadn't had Possible water for close to a month at that stage. We were actually able to install the uh, the water maker in their village well, which had turned brackish. So it worked out quite well. We were able to use brackish well water, which is nice and clean, good stable source. Uh, it wasn't affected by tides, and we were actually able to set that up, put the solar panels up on their uh, up on their water tank, put the water maker up on their tank. It only took about three or four hours, probably three hours from the time we put the box down to the time we had water coming out of it. Portable spectral water makers can produce up to 360 gallons or 1300 liters per day. For larger volumes of water, a higher output water maker is required. And of course, a vessel to carry it. Sea Mercy had a custom landing craft built for this purpose. That landing craft has been out in operation for a couple of months now. Um, it's taken all the building materials out to Makangai and Batiki and the various schools. But it, and more importantly, at the moment, it's on a one-month mission, um, making it has a 10,000 litre a day water maker on board. So we make the water on the barge, store it in a small tank, and then bit by bit send it to shore. The transformation, all of a sudden, these people realise we, we don't have to carry water from across the other side of the ocean. We don't have to all suffer from diarrhoea and, and from stomach problems because the, the water we've got is foul. We've got beautiful water. I want to thank you very much for the great support you've given my people here. The sun is very hot. Most important thing is just to drink a lot of water.